I'm Jared Brooke, Extension Wildlife Specialist with Purdue University, here with another wildlife habitat hint. I'm out here in one of our first year native grass and wildflower plantings, and we're checking it, just evaluating it, see where it's at. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you today a little bit about some of the things I look for when I'm evaluating a new native grass and forb or wildflower planting. So it's important to think about first that these native grass and forb plantings typically take two to three years to fully establish. So the first year, it may not look like it's gonna look like in year two, three and, and later on. So we're just kind of looking for a few things to kind of tell us if it's headed in the right direction. One of the first things we look for when we're evaluating first year plantings is weed pressure. And so with these really diverse mixes, especially things like pollinator mixes, our ability to control weeds is pretty limited. We can't really use many herbicides or any herbicides at all because the herbicides that we do use are going to negatively impact the things we've planted. So if we do use herbicides, we want to make sure that we're only spot spraying problematic species, not broadcasting it over the entire field. So the weed control method that we really have is uh, whether or not we want to mow this planting to help the native vegetation that we've planted. So that mowing can come at a cost Anytime you're mowing fields like this, you're reducing the value of that field for wildlife. And really in that first three years, there's a lot of wildlife value to these plantings. Um, so some of the weeds that we're seeing out in this field, we're seeing things like this mare's tail or horseweed here, a fair amount of um, foxtail, giant foxtail here near the ground. We're also seeing things like common ragweed, daisy fleabane and a lot of these weeds do have wildlife value but they may be negatively impacting what we planted the next thing we might look for out in a native grass and wildflower planting in that first year if we've drilled the field we may be able to see some rows of plants growing um, and this can be a pretty good sign that what we planted is actually germinated and growing however this field behind me we frost seeded it in the winter um, so we broadcast the seed on the ground, so we didn't drill it. So we're not gonna be able to see any drill markings or any rows of plants. So we need to move on to kind of our next indicator to see if what we planted is actually germinated. So the next thing we're gonna look for when we're evaluating these first year plantings is really looking for some of the species that are easy to identify that we actually planted. And luckily we have a few here and right in front of us. The first one here that we planted is this yellow flower, which is black-eyed Susan. So black-eyed Susans are one that's commonly put into these native grass and forb mixtures, and it's generally one of the first ones to germinate and grow. You won't always get flowering in the first year, but just by identifying this plant with these fuzzy leaves here, and we can see um, more leaves here, it can be a good way to tell what we actually planted is germinating. Another really good one to look for is right here in front of us as well. And that is partridge pea. Partridge pea is pretty obvious. It looks vastly different than anything else we'd find in the field. It has these pinnately compound leaves with lots of leaflets. Um, it's also one of the first ones to germinate if it's included in the mix and can be one that's easily spotted as you walk across the field. So the next thing we're gonna look for when we're evaluating a first year native grass and wildflower planting are any issues with invasive species. So right here in front of me, we have uh, Canada thistle. So Canada thistle is a common invasive in ag fields, pastures, um, CRP fields, and other places. And this is one where we would definitely wanna think about using herbicide to control Canada thistle early on now so it doesn't become a problem later and luckily it's just this little spot in the field here so we can easily spot spray that thistle without negatively impacting our, our overall planting so again when we're out here evaluating these first year native grass and four plantings it's important to keep in mind that this is a long process it's going to take two to three years for these to fully become established so what you see in year one may not be what you get in year three or four, 
but there's some things that we can look for to help see if these native grass and forward fields are progressing like we'd want them. So hopefully that helps you as you evaluate your first year native grass and wildflower plantings. Thanks.